Hello, everyone. How everyone doing? I hope y'all doing great. And I hope y'all staying out of trouble and just being good in general. Okay. I remember I was talking about the uh, school shooting with them 10 years at an elementary school. Okay. It's another update on that. In which I just cannot believe that this woman was treated like this. It's disturbing. It's, it, it's just pisses me the fuck off. Because the simple fact is, how in the hell are... I know... How am I say this? It's just disturbing because what I heard about this. Woman was threatened by the cops and she said anything about what actually happen that they arrest her so i'm wondering what is done about the cops for threatening a woman that had more balls than them running in in danger to save her kids to be having more balls than them running in knowing it is danger knowing it's a shooter own the premises and still running in to save her children because she felt that the cops wasn't doing a damn job they were standing there farther back than she was with snipers and stuff and so she said oh hell no i'd rather die than let my kids die like that i'm just improvising because I don't know exactly what she said in her head. But I'm just, as a mother, I'm thinking, I probably would do the same thing. Women have done it all along. Did it a long time. Running in and being in a woman intuition. Or with, they ch- want, with their kids. And trying to save their kids. Whether it's stepping in front of a bullet. Whether it is, wherever it is. Is this. A woman intuition, the bond that they have with their children, you know. So, with that being said, so how in the hell is she gonna get arrested? Which she got in, and she got her kids out while the cops was still standing back. So how in the hell are they gonna arrest her? On top of that, why in the hell are these cops supposed to be? The ones running in and saving these kids, standing the fuck back. I think she is right. More kids would have been fucking saved if they would have got in and done one day. And then on another thing, thought they shoot him dead. So we don't know why the fuck this nigga goes in there and starts shooting up an elementary school. He fell to graduate. You telling me that's the only reason why. What was he listening to? And y'all, and people can say it all they want. Talking about some damn Call of Duty. No, a lot of people play fucking Call of Duty every damn day, and they didn't go on a shooting spree. So it was something else wrong that child. Like I said before, something he went right in the head, and for his mama, for him to kill his own grandmother, that's even more fucked up. Mother's still alive, but the grandmother's dead, cause she had an argument and upset the little dysfunctional child but I wonder if your child was in what would you done would you stand back just cause you you on probation would you stand back and do nothing when you know when your child is in there and the cops are not doing their job and how dare they race this woman for no fucking reason that's some fucked up shit they should be giving her a fucking medal. A medal of fucking honor. Isn't, didn't that, um, it was a, I don't remember his name. It was a black boy. What? It was a black boy. He rushed in and he was at a IHOP, I believe. And this white boy started shooting up IHOP. This guy runs out, stop him for shooting anyone else, but he had already shot three three kids, already three teenagers. The 
was going to go to college, was intelligent. Then, come to find out, the boy that shot up the IHOP was the same one that shot to try to shoot the president. Now, I'm trying to figure out how in the hell this nigga get out, and he tried to shoot the president. And they let him get out, and then his father let him have the guns, and he shot four other people. He didn't shoot the president, but he shot four other kids and killed them. So what did that say? All right. And I'll let y'all look at this clip, and y'all have a nice day. Take it easy. Be safe. Watch out for your family. And be thankful you're alive every day. Because you never know when that day is your last. Y'all have a nice one. But her kids told her mom, we want to take this photo. She says, you know, I'm so glad I took that photo because it could have been the last one. And it was for many of the parents who lost their children who had been there. Like many parents, after that, she left, she went back to work, back to the field. And within 10 minutes, she received a frantic call from her mom telling her that there was a shooting at the school. So she got in her car and she sped at about 100 miles an hour, she told me, until she finally got here. And this is what she told me after. Right away as I parked, um, U.S. Marshals started coming toward my car saying that um, I wasn't allowed to be parked there. And uh, he said, well, we're going to have to arrest you because you're being very uncooperative. I said, well, you're going to have to arrest me because I'm going in there and I'm telling you right now, I don't see none of y'all in there. Y'all are standing with snipers and y'all are far away. I, if y'all don't go in there, I'm going in there. He right, immediately put me in cuffs. She says after Uvalde police officers told marshals to uncuff Gomez, she ran towards the school. As soon as they uncuffed me, I jumped that first gate fence. And once I jumped it, I went to my son's class. And I knocked on the door and I remember the teacher saying, um, I'm like, hey, they're already, they're already um, boach cutting the fence to get me. She's like, you think we have time to get out? I said, y'all have time. I'm going to run for my other son. Once she was assured her son was okay, Gomez ran to get her other child, encountering more officers who tried to stop her. So I start yelling and I'm being a cooperative and I'm like, well, y'all aren't doing shit. What are y'all doing? Y'all ain't doing shit. Y'all need to be in here. Give me your best. Somebody give me a best. I'm something. I started paying attention to how far the shots were being so that I knew the shooter was all the way still by my first son's class. So when I went to my son, my second son's door, the teacher didn't want to open the door for me. So that's when they started um, escorting me out. And as I, as I see that they're opening my son's door, I go run for my son and I get him. With both of her kids out safe, Gomez still can't shake the thought of those who didn't make it. While you were inside the school, did you see officers there was inside not one the school? officer inside the school when I In ran to areas. my second son's class. There was not one officer. And you were hearing gunshots, so you knew you that could hear the it gunshots. was an active shooter. It was still active. The gunshots were still active. They were not in there. There was no one in there. If anything, when I pulled up, my car was closer to the school than, the, where, than where the snipers and everybody that was laying on the ground were. When you heard that it took law enforcement 75 minutes before they went in and stopped the shooter, what was your thinking, having been inside the school yourself? I don't know. I was just thinking that they could have saved many more lives. They could have gone into that classroom and maybe Two or three would have been gone, but they could have saved a whole, a whole more, the whole class. They could have done something, gone through the window, sniped them through the window. I mean, something, but nothing was being done. If anything, they were being more aggressive on us parents that were willing to go in there. And like I told one of the officers, I don't need you to protect me. Get away from me. I don't need your protection. If anything, I need you to go in there with me to go protect my kids. And if anything, they were being more aggressive on us. They were more pertain on keeping us back than getting into that school. You know, this is, her account is another reflection of just the, the gaps in communication, those holes that we're trying to fill about the information that was coming in from 911, what the officers outside knew, what the officers inside knew. We know that there were officers inside. That's what law enforcement, uh, Texas uh, Department of Public Safety has, have told us, that there were officers outside of the classroom in a different area, uh, clearly, from where she was. Um, but, you know, it's, it's the frustration of the parents trying to get in is something that's